two. Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of the Live with Naz. An hour of laughter and encouragement coming to you from beautiful, warm, almost eighty degrees, Southern California. Let's see, let's see. All right, thank you for joining us tonight. Okay, let's stop it. Why am I looking like this? This is wrong. Okay, let's fix the camera. Hold on. Okay, let's invite our friends from the other side. All right, let's see who's joining us from the other side. People, come on in. People. Okay, here we go. Let's invite people from the other side. Come on, come on, share it. Okay, here we go. All righty. Today is show number 422, people. 422. Quarantining in Corona, 422. Let's see who's joining us today. Sarah, how are you? Come on, everyone. Michael Ramirez, how are you? Michelle Vullison from Ohio, how are you? Becky Ottenberry, Louisiana, how are you? Uh, Sarah, Washington State, how are you? All right, all right, all right. Timothy Vahori from California. No picture or sound. There is a picture and there is sound. Keep working on it. All right. Michael already picked who's going to uh, stick with today. I don't like to say the word stick with those emojis on. Up close and personal tonight. Yes, I was. And then I said, that's too close for comfort. So, hey, how about those American terms we use. Hello, Mr. Fakhouri. Good. Chris Martel, how are you? Thank you for joining us. Rochelle is here. What, you don't see your nose hair or something? No? I tried to trim all the extra hair everywhere. Here we go. Dave Ebert, how are you, my friend from uh, beautiful Illinois? Dolores from Louisiana. Hello, Sarah. Okay, Chris. Debbie Malone, how are you, my friend? Again from Louisiana, another Louisiana friend. Let's see, 422, you're amazing. Thank you. You guys are amazing. You guys are the ones that follow and watch every day. And we're growing in numbers. We're hitting almost 100 people. Also on the podcast, we're hitting 100 people. I want to thank you guys for the good questions that you ask. Really, really good questions. And, and we said earlier, you know, this is two completely shows. So if you try to be funny on the podcast, that's not the place for it. But you, you guys came through beautifully with questions, real good questions that make, because the guests, uh, uh, you know, see the, they see the, um, what do you call it? They see the, the chat. And there's a lot of people that don't watch the live with Naz are on the chat. So if we're talking, Inside stuff and inside jokes, they have no clue what we're talking about. So thank you guys for keeping it professional, just questions. And if you have a comment to make, that's beautiful. Bobby, Sarah, everybody, Alan, everybody who asking questions, thank you guys so much for that. Let's leave the funny to the live with Naz. Let's do that. That's awesome. I mean, people are wondering, like, well, how do you have this community of people? I'm like, hey. 400 shows, we're family, we're not a community, so thank you guys so much. Uh, yesterday I had to drop my sister-in-law uh, to LAX about 11, we got home by midnight, and uh, we're back to me, Maha and Tally, you know, my mom went back to my brother uh, a couple of weeks ago, so we're cleaning house and we're going back on the diet because we messed it up miserably in the last 10 days. All right, but anyway, um, my sister-in-law thought, you know what, this is the most beautiful state. And I'm telling you, California is a beautiful state, people. 
you know, there's so much to see. Michelle Van Dusen. Oh, Rochelle's mom is here. Rochelle's mother, how are you? You did very well. You raised a good young lady that produced a lot of grandchildren for you to keep you busy. That's awesome. Michelle Van Dusen, Tulsa, Tulsa, Oklahoma. I'm here for a few moments. Are you threatening us? <laughs> how the oh Nancy Matrieta is back. My beloved friend Pancho, how are you, my friend? Thank you. I uh, I wasn't on. I took my sister in law to LAX. We had to leave about eight forty five, nine o'clock, so it was hard to do the show and and still do it. So anyway, that was nice. Maha appreciated that. Okay, let me Terry Weathern a newbie f to the fun. Hello, Terry. Welcome. Thank you for joining us. All we ask, one question, name and where you at right now. That's all we ask. The state, where you at. And Rita is back. Rita, we missed you. How are you? Is Tally Engineering? Nope, we're done. I'm back on my own. Hello, Bobby Miller. And let's see. All right. Dolores Michael. Okay, let me. Can I? Can I? Not vent out. I'm going to talk about the wisdom. I think we're living in a time right now where the wisdom of this world, like God said, is foolishness. Really foolish wisdom. A Harvard Law professor by the name of Cass Sunstein, during the Obama administration, they were the head of the Office of Information and Regulatory Affairs. The head of the Office of Information and Regulatory Affairs he argues that animals should have the right to sue, to sue humans in court. I'm not making this up, people. I'm not making this up. This came a few years ago and still good. He wants, this is the head of the Office of Information and Regulatory Affairs. This guy is, hasn't been regular for a long time. Uh, he argues that animals should have the right to sue humans in court. Oh, how I'd love to see that. I was hoping for some sanity left in this country until my kids maybe are grown up or something happened. I guess it's coming down fast. If that happens, we're going to enjoy Judge Judy and Nancy Grace on the animal planet. That's, I, I, I'd like to see Judge Judy on the animal planet. Can you picture those cases like Gilda Trout versus Bass Pro Shops, Rocky the Dog versus Pet Groomers, Damages and poor judgment. Bet, B Betsy the cow versus Carl Jr. restaurant. Harassment case for being treated like a piece of meat. Flipper versus SeaWorld. Poor working conditions. Bambi versus farmer's insurance. Deer in the headlights. I wrote all this, people. This is a, I'm not reading an article. I can picture this scenario at a court in San Francisco somewhere. Sorry, Rosetti. I, your honor, representing this chicken against the people of California. This chicken is the only remaining family member. Her two sisters were abducted from their Zaki farm residence, taken to a slaughterhouse, and later their corpses were frozen and moved to an undisclosed location at Albertson's grocery store on the corner of Main and Foothill. A price tag was put on the remains. Later that day, the corpses were purchased by a resident by the name of Nazareth, Rizkala, in the city of Corona, who later attempted to cremate them on his barbecue. That's, uh, that's some big accusation, people, right there. Really, I, I'm sure the jury is going to stick with the chicken. Or this scenario, Your Honor, my defense... <laughs> I'm laughing at what I'm writing. So just, uh, Your Honor, my defendant couldn't be here today since... It cannot breathe outside of her element. Gilda Trout against Bass Pro Shops for selling rods and reels to minors. <laughs> Gil was snatched out of his house at 3 p.m. last Sunday when he pursued what he perceived to be a healthy treat, only to find out later. I'm laughing at my own stuff. That's scary. According to the police report that it was a lure. After a few minutes of struggle, Gil was pulled out of his surrounding and had a brief interaction with the criminal. Luckily, the criminal dropped Gil back in the water after he noticed the game warden approaching. My defendant would like compensation for the plastic corrective surgery to his upper lip. Also, 
<laughs> also compensation for the trauma he suffered because of this accident and private counseling session with the state approved marine biologist i rest my case people ah uh, all right chris martell you live in michigan chris i need to find a church on april 29th and 30th to do my uh, you know um i have two days open in michigan so if you know a good church or a good ministry like a woman's house or a alcohol anonymous group women or men like teen challenge or someone that they need some laughter i'm paying for it don't worry about it just let me know if it's a church we'll talk to them we'll make a deal with them but anyway i hope you guys are enjoying my jokes that i laughed at <laughs> yes and thank you for praying sarah all right glad you're so we are family. Got all my sisters with me. Yes. Hi, Naz from Cat Fan, Wisconsin. Hello, my beloved Matthew. All right. Uh, Timothy, I knew I used to live in Michigan. Did you stop off at In-N-Out Burger? Of course they did. Not in the way home. In the way home, we had to do Taco Bell because In-N-Out was too busy, too many. No kills for me. Hey. Laugh on <laughs> early day tomorrow. It's hard to stay away. Hello to anyone I missed. All right, good. I'm in the kitchen here in Washington. All right. Another Washington state, Terry Weathern. All righty here. So you got some neighbors. You got uh, Sarah and Becky Voth in south, southern Washington state. And then you got Rochelle and her mother in Oregon. Yeah, all right, so great to have you, Terry. Hi, Rita. Let's see. Washington State, yeah. Guinea, Guinea Johnson from Hemet, California. Hi, Ginny. Thank you for joining us. It was good to see you last month. Um, how does one know what the animal wants? Who speaks for them? Isn't that all open to interpretation? Hey, welcome to California. I agree only animals that have jobs and can represent themselves. Oh, that's funny. Let's see. Paris could take the stand. Wilbur could do. <laughs> yes. The lobster is suing the chef for trying to boil him. <laughs> right. Okay, let's see. We got some laughter. I guess it would be Mr. Ed and that Wilbur. <laughs> All right, let's see. Sophia's here. Hello, Sophia. This is why I made the rooster and Ruby the red hen. Sign an agreement to waive all rights to sue me. Hello, Sophia. How are you? Sophia, I need your address. You never sent it to me. Don't worry. We're not stalking you. Just do it on the messenger. <laughs> Love it. Good. It was a little... <laughs> oh, let's see. I make top 10. Uh, I will get you to the top. Bria Improv. That's funny but true. My mom is a seamstress. Oh, too. Maybe... You guys get together sometimes, yeah. And if you guys need the material, I got it. Get it? Bada boom. Material. I have comedy material. I have some beef stew cooking. Can't wait to try it. I might be in trouble. I live with 12 animals. That could be a whole lot of loss. I know, be careful. You have to sign releases for them. Before you do anything, just, you know. They. <laughs> My mom is Jerry Weathern. Naz. Oh, that's your mom. Okay, that makes sense. Naz, how about a Weight Watchers class they could use? Light-hearted relief. Stop it. <laughs> Dr. Duke. Duke Doolittle, <laughs> their lawyer. <laughs> okay, if I was funny on the podcast, I was only reacting to your guest. No, wasn't talking to you, Sarah. There's a church I attended when I lived up in northern Michigan, Fernville Assembly of God. Okay. All right, let's see. They need a new... <laughs> Larkin, welcome. What do you call a bear with no teeth? Hi, Becky Lowmaster. How are you? What? I have a real stitching of a time. <laughs> okay. Nas, can you do evil laugh for Rochelle Mom? I don't want to scare her, but uh, we will. 
All right. If she said something funny, we'll do it to her. Okay, here we go. Here's your top 20, ladies and gentlemen. On Monday night, I asked you the question. Give me some names for perfumes that didn't make the cut. A gummy bear. <laughs> okay, here we go. This is for your mom, Michelle. All right. <laughs> okay. Nez is all purple. Let's go to the perfume. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the word names for perfumes that didn't make the cut. At number 20, Sarkrot. At number 19, Cow Pie Chips. At number 18, Eau de, de Truck Stop. At number 17, Mother-in-Law's Medicine Cabinet. At number 16, Cod Liver Spoil. At number 15, Pepe Le Pew. At number 14, Le Burnt Hair. At number 13, The Scent of the Embalming Room. At number 12, Eau de Mausoleum. At number 11, Four Day Old Pits. At number 10, Urinal Water. At number 9, Gumbo Glamour. At number eight, the Russian roll on, roll on. At number seven, oh de la belle, belly button, <laughs> oh de la belle button, Michelle, Michelle, Michelle. Number six, oh de de sulfur. At number five, scratch and sniff. At number four, Porto John. <laughs> At number three, the essence of a royal flush. At number two, locker room number nine. And the number one names of perfumes that didn't make the cut. ST Shouder. <laughs> Thank you, Rita, for that one. All right. Wow. Uh, Rochelle had three of them this time. She knows perfume. Lily's back. Hi, back. Lily, welcome back. Lily's back. Welcome back. How was the... Uh, we were praying for you. How was your mission trip to Arizona, the reservations? Let us know. Alrighty. Good night, everyone. See you next time. Thank you, Chris. Thank you. Good things I have the lights on. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's see. Uh, the sweaty socks. <laughs> okay, here's your first question. I thought my Fern Fresh was pretty good, too, but they were all so funny. I know I could not add it for family reasons. I th okay, unbelievable. Check out my Facebook post. Okay, we'll do. Go to Lily, Lily Navas on Facebook and check out Bruce Kimbra, my friend from Fresno, California. Good night. Hello, Bruce. How are you, brother? Blessed. Hydrate and share. Yes, every fifteen minutes, new people. That's what we do. We hydrate and we share. All 98 people. Come on. Invite two more. Let's hit 100 tonight. Well, speaking of Gil the Fish, well, give me the, the worst name for a boat. What would be the worst name for a boat? A react. Okay, here we go. Worst name for a boat or a yacht. I made this two recipe you gave me. Okay. Bori, Bori McBoat face. The, st the sinker. Bottoms up. Cruising the bottom of the sea. Hey, Brent, welcome. Bottoms up. Holy Tide. <laughs> H-O-L-E-Y Tide. Fish food. <laughs> Cat swimmer. Hello, Larkin. The Lost Lucy. <laughs> Sink or swim. Gone with the wind. <laughs> Gone with the wind. That's good. Capsized. <laughs> All right. Terry's mom. Uh, Rochelle's mom. <laughs> Capsized. 
Titanic remix. <laughs> Titanic. I have been busy with school. All right, Larkin. Hope it's doing well. The minnow. Mayday. <laughs> Good one, Lily. We missed you. Indianapolis too. <laughs> Sunken and drunken. <laughs> Titanic 3. Holy Henry. <laughs> Holy H-O-L-E-Y. Over under. One way to. <laughs> Bath toy. <laughs> Lost. Shark's lunchbox. <laughs> Good one, Dave. Flash flood. <laughs> ah, keep the lights on. Oh, no. <laughs> My mother boat is on Mount Ararat. <laughs> My other boat is on Mount Ararat. Oh. <laughs> That's funny. The Jack Benny. The bite that sank me. <laughs> blop, blop, blop. <laughs> The economy is going down. <laughs> That's good. You deserve a laugh for that, Ebert. <laughs> Ship faced. <laughs> That's a bad name for a boy. <laughs> we missed you, Rita. Really, we really missed you. I don't know where you were, but... Ah. <laughs> That's funny. Welcome back to the Live with Naz, people. That's what we need. We need... You guys need to break me. That's always the best shows. That's, <laughs> That's funny. Ship <laughs> All right, gone wishing. <laughs> Leaky Larry. <laughs> See a doctor, okay, Larry. <laughs> Hurricane Target. <laughs> for sale. <laughs> That's a good name. <laughs> right when you get the boat, you name it for sale. Nancy, thank you. Rochelle, Lost at Sea. Bruce. <laughs> Black Pearl re Reboot. Oh, I'm, I'm crying, people. That's funny. Tears. Ah. When I laugh like this, I get chip faced. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, man. Up for sale. <laughs> Up for sale. S A I L. Okay, iceberg magnet. Down under. Good night, all. This is my prayer request. Please keep praying for our leaders and nation and first responders. The whole hospital. Okay. We will do that. Larkin, made of recycled paper. For <laughs> Michael, love your boat name, Sarah. <laughs> Naughty knots. <laughs> Any bikini bottom boat. Oh, yeah. All right. Duct tape patches. <laughs> Appetizer. Right, for sure. Shaken. <laughs> hey, Marie. Hi. Okay. Shaken. <laughs> See, say. <laughs> Good one, Sarah. Afraid not. <laughs> SS Sheepskate. <laughs> the SS Sheepskate. Is that part of the U.S. Navy? <laughs> the SS Sheepskate. <laughs> <laughs> He's fishing off the pier when he owns SS Sheepskate because he doesn't want to spend the money on the gas. California Boathouse. Baba's Pierogi. Cajun name for boat. Uh -huh. Sea dogs do. <laughs> Cinco. <laughs> Cinco de Mayo. That's funny. Oh. <laughs> That's funny. Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> Underwater tourist attraction. Mr. Crab's boat. Oh, boy. <laughs> Down in the trout. <laughs> Got fuel. Bubba Gump, too. Oh. Oh. That was funny. Bob, Bob and Bob. <laughs> Up for sale. 
hooked on you, sail away and no return. Ah, Dalia Thomas, <laughs> good grief, <laughs> instead of good grief, good grief. Wing and a prayer, <laughs> Gilligan's retreat, missing one oar. Oh, that's right, Rita gave me some names for it. Missing one oar, Bermuda Triangle, now I'm broke. Don't get stern with me. Dinghy aboard. Bow out time. Land bound. <laughs> Lightning rod. Baba Gam 2. The SS Minnow. Undeniably under. <laughs> Booty boat. <laughs> Cinco de Mayo. Pig leg pokes. Tax deduction. <laughs> right. Don Knotts, <laughs> good. The Salty Pirate, Shark Bait. As the stomach churns, the Flex Seal Boat, Divorce, <laughs> made of recycled TP, <laughs> capsized, Davy Jones Locker. <laughs> she really sinks me. Don't get stern with me. If it's not one thing, it's a rudder. <laughs> Chips ahoy. <laughs> Good. Let's go Brandon of the ba Bayou. Bow out, baby. Plug it or sink. Hello, Teresa. Welcome, welcome. We missed you. Artificial reef. Rolling on a river. Up chuck. <laughs> Holy Henry, Baby Shark, Storm Magnet, <laughs> Sink or Not All Oars in the Water, Soggy Bottom, <laughs> good one Jenny, Soggy Bottom, <laughs> Twisted Hemp, Holy Water Holder, <laughs> Dunk Tape, Husband's Fantasy, <laughs> Nell. <laughs> <laughs> Natalie Woodwood. <laughs> oh, Rita. It's okay. We don't know the story. Or we do. I have a friend that has a party boat. She met her husband, name it. Yes, dear. Wow. <laughs> Duck tape doozy. The one that got away. Shark bait. Hey, Rosetti. Loose sail. Bail out, naked and afraid. <laughs> oh, sunken donuts. <laughs> you deserve a laugh. <laughs> All right, the next two questions are from Rosetti, so, but we're still on this wonderful, funny question. Sunken donuts. Hi, Catherine Allen. Welcome. Thank you. Sees a Cheesic Express. <laughs> Seasick Express. No anchor. The Little Mermaid. Seize the moment. Good. All right. SS Loose Sail Ball. Three hour tour. Flounder. That's right. Under the sea. <laughs> <laughs> Under the sea. Michelle said nervous wreck. <laughs> That's good. Grumpy. Sees the bay. Wife overboard. <laughs> Twist your anchor. Inheritance, right. Oh, man. <laughs> Bad investment. Worst name of her boat or yacht? Offshore account, right? Columbia, Columbus's fourth ship. Atlantis or bus? The sinkable ship. Cranky crust, oh, crustacean. <laughs> Cranky crustacean, the impossible dream. Piece of crap. 
Here you go. Let's say it. Watch your language. Your mother is watching, Rochelle. <laughs> Walk the plank in your own eye. <laughs> the jolly, the the jolly drunken. Wait, the jolly drunken pirate. Rusty bottom. <laughs> Don't bet your life on it. Cremation <laughs> cruiser. Nez not found. Piece of crab. The she blows. The money pit. The pork side. Crab is a Christian swear word. Oh, crab. I didn't know that. <laughs> Steamboat Willie, because I used it before I was a Christian. So, my ex has my anchor. <laughs> Death wish granter. Steamboat Willie. Okay, it is time to hydrate and share, people. It's 9 o'clock. If you're new with us, all 92 people, hydrate and share. It's been a hot day today in California. Royer Kerry Beans and Franks flotation device. Maybe... That's the name for a book. Oh, no. Crab is a Christian swear word. Then Sarah's going, me, maybe. Motor mouth, iceberg finder. <laughs> Naughty, nautical Nancy. <laughs> Tsunami taker, 90 degrees today. It's funny, yesterday uh, Mr. Agajinian, Dennis Agajinian, reminded me. One time we rented the stadium in, uh, one one of the times we rented the stadium, the 66er stadium in uh, San Bernardino, California. We had a, like a tsunami. We had rain all day, all night almost. And the only time it stopped is right when we started the show from 7 o'clock. And uh, and it rained right after the show was done. But before the show, I mean, there was no way. All the sound equipment, everything, it's poor, you know, it's just drenched. We covered everything. And some people started to leave because it was raining so bad. And I told the artist, I said, listen, I want you to know I'm paying you from my own pocket if you... You know, if it if you don't perform, it's okay. If you don't want to go on stage and you're, you know, you're nervous about it or you don't want, I'm paying you. I'm not worried about it. It just reminded us. But I remember the reason I shared that is because we prayed and prayed and prayed. The whole, the team, the leaders. And right at 7 o'clock, it's like a, this is the only day it rained in California. Before that, it was like years with no raining that bad. It was just... A little rain here and there, but it poured rain, and we were having a drought. It just poured rain on that day, and at 7 o'clock, boom. It's like, it's magic. The sky was moved, and some people were taking pictures later told me the sky was just, boom, just uh, like a curtain was moved, and it was the blue skies. And we had a great, great show, and none of the equipment broke. Uh, and just praise God for that. That just reminded me right now. When he said that yesterday, I was like, that's right. When someone mentioned the storm, I'm like, that's what happened. God stopped the storm for two hours to be able to do the concert. Motor mouth, that was me right now. 90 degrees today. Ooh, yes. Tsunami taker. <laughs> no TP on board. <laughs> ouch, ouch, ouch. <laughs> Actually, good idea, Nez. Maybe as a ship name. Shipwrecked Sally, we cut your guts. Outbreak, yes or no, O-I-R. Beach Betty on the rocks, mother trucker. <laughs> You're good. Bermuda Triangle Cruise Lines, SS Man Overboard. That's an open venue, no roof. Yep, that's the stadium. The Ark's Escape Vessel. Better off walking in <laughs> 
on water. Better off walking on water. That's a good name for a boat. Is that the boat version of Mustang Sally? The Jonah. <laughs> Eye of the storm. Basket of fish. USS Cyclops. <laughs> Noah's brother's ex-roommate's cousin's ark. <laughs> I was just thinking of an S name to go with shipwreck. Okay. <laughs> well, I know. Praise God. Amen. Oh, ye of little faith. Right. Noah's Ark 2026. That's a good name for a movie. I'll be fog gone. <laughs> Water tornado. Whale of a good time. This took 150 years to build, sunk in 30 seconds. No toilet in board. Did you go first? Splitting the sea. Peter's boat. Moby. <laughs> Pirate's bait. I'm Joe. This is my whale. <laughs> Sharknado. Rubber ducky. Good one, Ron Michael. <laughs> Rubber ducky. Jonah's journey act. Sitting duck. <laughs> All right. Are we? How we doing? Nine o six. Are you guys ready? You have more boat names on the rocks. <laughs> All right, Nancy, you're on tonight. All right. Fun fact, after 106 years, the pool on the Titanic still has water in it. Yeah, of course. It's underwater. <laughs> okay. Uh Exxon <laughs> the Exxon Valdez, Nineveh's bind, dinghy in the rear. <laughs> I want to copy Lily and Becky Ottenberry. No, no, no. You picked Becky. You stick with Becky. You don't want to, you know, she made you win. She took you to the top last time. Stick with her. Atlantis submarines. Fun, <laughs> of course. <laughs> Cardboard regatta. None of us bound. All right, let's do the Guinness Book of World Records, people. Guinness Book of World Records today. Today is National Chia Day, National Other Stuff Day. The raft fogged up. Okay, today is National Chip and Dip Day. Did you know that? You probably did not know that. Sir sings a lot. <laughs> Good one, Rex. Okay. National Chip and Dip Day. You can bring, keep doing the boats then. Driver's license here, swabbed. Keep, you know, keep them coming. I'll read them. But let's see. Today, National Chip and Dip Day. <laughs> I need chips now. The Tempest. <laughs> uh, Wayne The Rock Johnson, you know, the actor, the, the wrestler, the... It's no stranger to setting huge records, but this time he might have overdone himself. With the help of Seven Bucks Digital Studios, which he co-founded by uh, him and his manager and production partner, Guinness World Records can officially confirm they have achieved the record for the largest layer dip. The largest layer dip. And they did it, I think, during the Super Bowl 51. How much did it weigh? How many pounds to make it to the Guinness Book of World Record? Actually, it broke the last record. Over 100 pounds, under 1,000 pounds. Over 100 pounds, under 1,000 pounds. How much did the layered, largest layer dip weigh in to make it to the Guinness Book of World Records? SS Michelle Van Dusen, low clearance all over. I really stick you. St. Elmo's fire, 25,000 chips. No, we're talking the weight of the layered chip. The layered, <laughs> 820 pounds for Teresa. I love Teresa. Even, or odd number Naz. Uh, let's see, even number, how about that? Okay, 250, 351, and 105 for Dave Ebert. Come on, bring your best three numbers. Three guesses. Don't look it up. 625, 598, and 798 for...
for Michelle Van Dusen. Sarah, I literally dropped a chip when you said that the range was, and I didn't hear it. Was it 100 to 1,000? You dropped the chip. <laughs> Okay, Becky Ottenberry, 585, 685, and 785. Teresa, 211. Dolores, 196, 417, and 607. Marie, 241, 562. Uh, okay, and 999. Okay, Nancy Matrieta, 333, 547, and 737. Sophia, 400, 600, and 800. Easy numbers. Uh, let's see. Pancho, 444, 555, and 777. Bobby, 550, 565, 70. Dead or alive, 562 pounds for Teresa. Michel Michael Ramirez, 585, 685, 785. Did I already read Becky Ottenberg's? Oh, yeah, twice. No, it's Michael. Matthew, 258, 108, and 575. Sarah is shipless. 250, 450, and 950 for Sarah. Hello, Sarah Olin. Welcome. Thank you for joining us. Can you guess what's the weight of the largest layer dip made by Dwayne, the, Wayne the Rock Johnson? Dwayne the Rock Johnson and his team. Over 100 pounds, under 1,000 pounds. Do not Google it. Just give us a good three guesses and you might win this beautiful toilet paper. 255, 799, and 522 for Becky Voss. Becky Lowmaster, 735. All right, let's see. 456, 567, and 789 for Rita. All right, what the crab? That's the name for a boat. 544, 580, and 564 for Lily Navis. Michelle Vullison, 557, 501, and 567. All right, glad you made it home safely before joining us. Need lots of TP after all that being <laughs> sold, sold. The Rooster Ruby, of course, they would love some chips and dip. Sold, sold. All right, what's going on? Nera. Hi, Nera Slabby. What's going on? We're doing the Guinness Book of Ford Record, and if you can guess, what is the largest layer dip that made it to the Guinness World of Guinness Book of Ford Record? How much did it weigh? Without looking it up, make a three guesses, and if your number's close to the number on the Guinness Book, you win this toilet paper. One more, 588 for Teresa. How old is that nasty P? Two years old now? Not really. It's still fresh. Smells good. Oh. Ned Slabby. Tell us where you're at. City and state. That's all we ask. Anybody else? Going once. Going twice. Anybody else want to guess? We're giving you that opportunity tonight to be able. Seven layer cheese dip. No, it's seven layer dip beans and uh, jalapeno. Oh, you're in Japan. Welcome. Welcome, 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 Ned. What time is it in Japan? Sold, sold. Let's give people in Japan a chance to make a guess. It's going to be difficult to ship the the toilet paper to them. The rooster is actually back from Hawaii. Oh. In preparation for his big Good Friday role in the passion play. <laughs> That's funny. He's going to be at the... How many times did the rooster... Oh, it's 1.10 p.m. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Arigato. Domo arigato. Oh, Bobby did it better. You know, the the person who led me to Christ was Japanese. He's still one of my best friends. And uh, let's see. So one day I want to go to Japan. I would love to go. I have lots of friends who went and helped during when had the big, the huge tsunami there. All right. Let's see. We're given a chance for our international friends to make a guess. And we'll give the winner 
in many. I'm American from Wisconsin. All right. Well, welcome. Oh, you're you're in Japan right now, but you're from Wisconsin. Well, Matthew Dirks right here on the show. He's from Wisconsin. I will be in Wisconsin in April 23rd and 24th. April 23rd, I, I'm doing this show in, uh, it's called the Cup of Joy. It's a theater there, two shows. And then uh, on Sunday morning, I'll be in Green Bay at the Celebration Church. Big earthquake recently. Oh, I heard that. All right, I'm going to give you the number, canned salmon. Okay, here we go. The winning number is the largest layered dip, weighted 540 pounds. And the winner is none other than Lily Navas, who just returned from the reservation in Arizona and can use that beautiful toilet paper. And there's someone eating his heart out right now because he normally copies Lily. But this time, he went with Becky because he's a bandwagoner, and she was the winner last time. <laughs> so he says, all right, Becky is it. Nope, not tonight. Your old friend Lily was <laughs> the winner. With 544, she was closest. Nancy Matrieta came with 547, so that was it. But Becky Ottenberry was the first one to say 585, and she was the closest for a while. And I was afraid that she was going to win, and someone else will reap the rewards. But <laughs> I love it. This is becoming fun. All right, Lily, you deserve it. Sorry your wife had nothing to wear. Was just watching that one. <laughs> it's, yeah, that's funny. Thank you. Bobby Miller said 550. Well, he's still 10 away. Bean can. That's right. Then Bobby Miller became the winner, and then boom. All right. Thank you guys for trying. It's 9.15. It's time to hydrate and share. And I'm going to ask you this question. This came from Mr. Rossetti. And the question is, what Guinness World Record could you set? What Guinness World Record could you set? What Guinness World Record could you set? Okay, let's see. I misspelled Guinness, really? G U I N. G U I N N. Oh, two N's. Oh, can I buy a vowel? I'll take N for 200. Okay, Guinness. Nice question. Thank you. Okay, here we go. Come on, guys. What Guinness World Record could you still set? Uh, Your tuna nice. Your tuna nice. Me, Michael disappointed. <laughs> I know. Hey, he should have stuck with his friend. For the most double double burgers eating, I believe you. Night spent crying. Aww. Really, Sarah? What Guinness World Record could you set? Count all my toes blind flooded, folded. I can't hold my toes blind. Oh, that's a talent, Rita. You sure you're not peeking? <laughs> the world's heaviest belly button length collection. Ouch. Longest time to climb half dome. <laughs> Throwing out the most unused produce. <laughs> I'm like you. We are like you. I call our fridge the museum. I'm like, honey, remember this? When we bought this? Was that what? 67, 1967? Oh, I remember that. We were just kids when we bought it. And uh, what is it? Yeah, I think it was a tomato. <laughs> Most golf shoes missed. <laughs> Most glasses of wine consumed. <laughs> I'm tuna fish. Most chocolate eaten. <laughs> ah, for the man's crawfish sucked. Okay, here. You're making my Louisiana Three Musketeers jealous here. Crawfish. Days spent in stitches. <laughs> Still exercising at 75 three times a week. I'm so proud of you, Pancho. I am so proud of you. That's incredible. That's I want to do that. I want to be. I did today. I did arms. And, you know, yesterday, no, the day before I did chest. And tomorrow I'll do shoulders. And I walk every day, so I want to 
Guys, if you feel depressed or anxious, work out. Do an exercise. Take a walk. Do something. Trust me. Trust me on this. Mm -hmm. That will elevate your mood. Because God created us with, with hormones that secretes when you do these exercises. And those endorphins, the happy hormones will kick in and make you feel good. I'm serious. I'm dead serious. If you feel upset, get up, stand up, do some move, move, just start moving, do something. Go up the stairs and down the stairs a few times. It will elevate your mood. That's awesome. The stinkiest armpit. Ayo, most clothes in the closet that don't fit. You win, Nancy. Probably number of church services videoed. <laughs> oh, I got my hoodie of Let Us Worship back. All right, that's awesome. They found it. Introducing our latest museum, NASA's refrigerator. Have been directly lied to the most. <laughs> A nightmare. 3-24-22. Ah, most consecutive times losing a fight with the wife good job <laughs> all right you have a lot of competition sometimes chris rosetti most times spend apologizing to my wife <laughs> you guys are so funny days with no in and out most dare dumped by a lady you're right you can make it to that record tomorrow i copy you okay <laughs> Most mother-in-law. <laughs> That's funny. That is so funny, you guys. Okay, how old frozen food is in a freezer when you get a new freezer? You win that. How old the front? I did total body workout behind the lawnmower, okay? Ah, oh, that's funny. Most times telling your kids to leave each other alone, all right? Ride a bike, walk out of treadmill. Books waiting to be read, right? <laughs> I don't have any stairs here. All right, get on your bike. Most hours in a row playing Michael Bolton. <laughs> I walk almost every day with my husband. That's awesome. What a great time to do that. Change a tire without Jack. <laughs> I got up and downstairs at work enough. That's good. Dave's chasing my shadow. <laughs> Most photos taken and added to the cloud after continuous notification of the cloud being full. <laughs> That's good. That's creative, Becky Voth. Now on, I tie my hoodie to my cart. That's right. Just getting out of bed. Losing and gaining the same pounds. That's right, Mary. Most internal organs removed. Most ship faced on dry land. <laughs> Longest walk to the bathroom. Most food eaten while driving. <laughs> I'm going to go after Michael's record for most. I'll oh, stop it. <laughs> Uh, bruises of unknown origin, the diary of a klutz, the diary of a klutz, right, true fact, ah, oh, it's true, my apartment has been broken in the most, March 24, 22, cracking my knuckles continuously, most in looking for my phone <laughs> booth, most in looking for my phone booth. Most days driving without a seat belt. <laughs> Go to Loma Linda FM building and climb the parking lot stairs. Oh, okay. I'm sure on the, but I had over 580, st 580 stitches. You win, Teresa. I'm sorry. Wow. Most apologies for things I didn't do. <laughs> You guys are funny. All right, it's 924, people. It is time for prayer request. This is a time where you guys, if you have any prayer, let us know. And we will pray for you tonight or tomorrow or at some time before tomorrow's show. Most regret, most continuous days of quitting a diet. All right. It's not a door, Neil. I'm sorry. 
I know what you're thinking, but it's not a door, it's a church. Ran through a glass door ward at 11 years. Ouch. I've done that once. I've done that once. I ran into a glass door and started bleeding, almost broke my nose. You know what's the funny thing? It just happened after I called 911 for my nephew who passed out from dehydration. So when the paramedics came, they sat me down. I'm like, it's not me, it's him. Go inside, go inside. And they're like, just shut up, just lay down, just lay down because I'm bleeding. They think it's me. They're, like, they're, they're screaming at me, just lay down. I'm like, he's inside. He, he, they thought I had a fight with the guy inside or a criminal. They go, don't worry about it. The cops will be here. I'm like, he's inside. He needs your help. He's dying. And finally, his sister came out. She goes, oh, he's inside. Not this one. <laughs> it was so funny. I was laughing. Not laughing. I was like trying. Come on, people, speak English. I'm not the one. Okay, Sarah Olin, pray for my dad. We lost mom in November. Oh, that is so hard. And he takes care of my brother who doesn't have good health. For me, issues that have at home, we'll be praying for it. I promise you, Sarah, we have a gr community of people here that really care, and they will be praying for you. So like the cartoons. Oh, and spoken for Sarah. Ma, you both needed help. I know, but he needed more. Anybody? Okay, pray for what... Um, our friend Timothy Fakhuri asked earlier before he leaves, pray for our nation, pray for the you know, first responders, pray for our country. I need good results on my recent MRI. Okay, Marie will be praying for good results. Prayer lifted. Welcome back. Praying that whatever you sowed in, in that uh, reservation, that God will really bless it. More gigs for now. Thank you today. I booked two dates for Mother's Day. In uh, San Luis Obispo, Central California, Central Coast. Sorry for telling jokes at Dennis' show, Naz. It's okay. It's just a different show than ours. It's a different show than this. This, hands down, be funny. Whatever you want, be funny. And the other show is more of like, you know, even though it's called Laughter for All, I, I think, I don't know if I'm deceiving people with that name, but that's the name for our ministry. So, but we, we want people to give us some wisdom and help. Speaking of wisdom, um, in, uh, just want to encourage you a little bit. We talked earlier, I joked about the wisdom of this world. And uh, in James 3, in verse 13, it says, Who is wise and understanding among you? Let him show by good conduct that his works are done in the meekness of wisdom. But if you have bitter envy and self-seeking in your heart, do not boast and lie against the truth. This wisdom does not descend from above, but is earthly, sensual, demonic. For where envy and self-seeking exist, confusion and every evil thing are there. But the wisdom that is from above is first pure, then peaceable, gentle, willing to yield, full of mercy and good fruits, without partiality and without hypocrisy. What James is saying, you know, if you're very wise and you just want to show the world how wise you are and you're just, you know, that's not the wisdom from God. That's not wisdom from God. But also, if you say you're a Christian, it has to show in your conduct. You can't say I'm a Christian and you're just being very unwise, making horrible decisions all the time. But when you are walking with the Lord, that wisdom, it will show. God will give you wisdom. James also in first one said, if anyone lacks wisdom, let him ask. And I always ask, every day I ask for wisdom from the Lord. And it's just, and that wisdom is pure, peaceable, it makes you gentle, makes you don't want to fight or argue or, or push your own agenda and political agenda and this and that. And you're angry at people who don't agree with you and you're hating people just because they don't believe in the same thing you believe and just because they're not the same. They don't look like you, you just don't like them or treat them less or different. I mean, that's not from God. The, the wisdom that comes from God makes you gentle, makes you willing to yield, full of mercy, of good fruits, without partiality, without hypocrisy. And sometimes the world calls us hypocrites. And you know what? They have the right to say that. Because sometimes we as Christians, and including me sometimes, we act in a way that doesn't honor Christ, doesn't glorify Him. 
We think because I'm, a, I'm better than thou, because I have wisdom and I don't do this and I don't do that. Therefore, I have the right to attack you and judge you. But with gentleness, you can do so many things. You can honor the Lord, being peaceful. Amen? Amen. I'm blah, 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 too much today. A few friends who have cancer need to be healed. Beth, Bobby, and Jeremy will be praying for them, Becky. Hanging, hoping to hear from my doctor's office when my physical therapy is going to... I know, I'm sorry about this mess they did. Timing. Great show tonight. Crack me up. But that's so good. That's the goal. Praying for you all. We'll see everyone tomorrow night, God willing. Yes, tomorrow night, God willing, we'll be here. That we would all walk in pure wisdom from above. Yes, amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Teresa. Prayers and good night, Catherine Allen. Prayers for more gigs for well-versed comedy. We are prayers for God's blessing that our next two shows will bless the audience and the kids for whom we're raising money. Amen. For Maggie Jo and her son for complete healing. For our nation. For our nation. For all. Thank you guys so much. Amen. Amen. Thanks for the laughs, everyone. And see you. Good night. See you guys tomorrow. Love you guys.